Welcome back to the Get Started with Jenkins series. In the previous video, I showed you how you can run PHP unit tests with Jenkins. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure Jenkins so that it sends the status of the build back to Bitbucket. So why would you want to tell Bitbucket about your build status? Well, that's because Bitbucket will show the status of each build next to the corresponding commit. It's a great way to visually keep track which commits passed the build and which didn't. So what's next for this video? Well, first of all, I'm going to install the Bitbucket build status notifier plugin for Jenkins. Then we're going to create an OAuth keys uh, on Bitbucket and we'll use these keys to configure our Jenkins job. Afterwards, we're going to test our setup and verify that everything works correctly. So let's get going. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to create OAuth credentials for Jenkins so that it can communicate with Bitbucket in a very secure way. To do this, go to your profile picture and click, for, uh, and click on Bitbuc Bitbucket settings. Now on the left hand side you'll find a section called Access Management and underneath it you'll find OAuth and here you have the option to create a new consumer. Uh, so I'm going to do that and click Add Consumer and I'm going to call my consumer Jenkins and as the callback URL you can use the location or the, the IP address of your current Jenkins installation. So I'm going to peek a little bit here, I'm going to copy it, paste it, there we go. And I'm going to give it two permissions. I'm going to allow it to read from my repositories and write to my repositories. Now it's not actually going to write uh, files to your repositories or change files to your repository. It is simply going to write uh, the status update of your build to the repository. And that's it. I'm going to click Save. And afterwards, Bitbucket generates uh, a key and a secret for uh, this OAuth consumer, which we'll use in a second in Jenkins. So let's now install the necessary plugins in Jenkins for this to work. Uh, so I'm going to install a new plugin in Jenkins just like we did in the previous video by going to Manage Jenkins, then Manage Plugins, going to the tab Available. And in here I'm going to search for um, the plugin Bitbucket. There we go. Bitbucket Build Status Notifier Plugin. I'm going to click on this. And I'm also going to install the Bitbucket OAuth plugin, which enables OAuth authentication for Bitbucket users. So that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to click Download now and install after restart to install both these plugins. And let's give Jenkins some time. Okay, so after installing the plugin, Jenkins restarted itself. And now it's time to actually configure our job. So let's go to the job, click on Configure. And we're going to add a new post build action. This is, by the way, the same job that, that I used in the last video. So I'm going to click a new, uh, I'm going to click to add a new post build action. And I'm going to click on Bitbucket notify build status. And I want Jenkins to notify Bitbucket when we start the build and also when the build is finished. And now to send these messages to Bitbucket, Jenkins needs to authenticate itself. So I'm going to click on advanced. And here I have the option to give it the credentials that it should use to authenticate itself. Now, right now, there are no credentials in the system, so I'm going to add one here. And I'm going to say username and password. And as username, I'm going to use the key that Bitbucket generated for us. And as password, I'm going to use the secret. There we go. I can even give it a description, for example, OAuth piece for notifier okay so I'm going to click add and I'm going to use these credentials here and that's it I'm going to click save and let's now test to see if it actually works and so to do that I'm going to manually trigger a build so I'm going to click on build now to schedule a build and after a small period of time And there we go, our build is finished. I can click to see its details. I can see the build is, has run correctly. So let's go now to Bitbucket, to the overview of our repository. Let's click on commits. And here I, should, uh, and here I see that the latest commit has passed the build. Now this one has failed to build because I was trying stuff out before uh, filming this video. 
So let's make a new commit and make the test fail again just to show you that this is working correctly. So let me go to our gumball machine here and let's say edit. I'm going to edit on the Bitbucket website because it's a little bit faster than on my Mac. So I'm going to return two gumballs again just as in the last video instead of just one. And I'm going to say this is wrong as commit message. I'm going to click commit. Okay, let's now go back to Jenkins, go back to my project and start the build again. Now I'm going to start the build and I'm going to quickly go back to Bitbucket, go to the commit section and actually uh, I was already too late. Um, the build has already failed, you can see that right here. Normally when you have a build that takes a couple of minutes to complete, um, this icon actually changes in three dots that uh, tell you that the build is actually still ongoing. Now if you click on the build icon here, you can see that build number four has failed and if you click it, it actually redirects you to your Jenkins uh, installation where you can view more information. So that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty nice integration.